For this commandment, which I command you today, is not too difficult for you, nor is it out of reach. It is not in heaven that you should say, who will go up to heaven for us to get it for us and make us hear it so that we may observe it, nor is it beyond the sea that you should say, who will cross the sea? We might say, who will cross the Tiber for us to get it for us and make us hear it that we may observe it? But, Moses said, the word is very near you in your mouth and in your heart so that you may observe it. When Moses said this word is not too difficult for you, he used a word that means mysterious or surpassing. The word is not then too mysterious. It is not too hard, too difficult. It's not a far off or out of reach. It is accessible to you. And as the people of God, those in whom the word of God is to dwell in your hearts and in your mouths, Moses said, you can keep it. How different all of this is to the teaching of Rome. James Gibbons, who was once the Archbishop of Baltimore and then a Cardinal of the Roman Church, said, We must conclude that the Scriptures alone cannot be a sufficient guide and rule of faith because they cannot at any time be within the reach of every inquirer, because they are not of themselves clear and intelligible, even in the matters of highest importance, and because they do not contain all the truths necessary for salvation. Notice, besides the fact that Gibbons denies material sufficiency, notice the bald-faced contradiction here between Moses and this member of the Roman magisterium. Moses said the word revealed by God through him is not a secret and not out of reach and is for us and our children, all inquirers. Cardinal Gibbons, on the other hand, said without embarrassment, they are not within the reach of every inquirer, and this is because they are unclear.